Hi, I'm Kelsey Green, and welcome to this month's Hashtag All The Feels. I was 16, sitting in a doctor's office, trying to figure out why I'd been so sick and fatigued. The doctor began to ask me several questions, and I answered yes to all of them. She thought over everything for a moment and came back with her solution. Her answer to my problems hit me like a ton of bricks. She was prescribing me antidepressants. This month, we are dealing with the emotion of depression and unpacking Psalm 88 and how the psalmist faced the tumultuous waves that came with dealing with depression. I can't say I was entirely surprised by my doctor's answer. I knew something was going on with me, but depression was such a taboo concept for the church. I had a relationship with God, I was serving in my church, and I had wholehearted faith in Christ, but I still seemed to come up short because I was taking medication for depression. For years, I had been walking around with this belief and misconception that my depression was tethered to a hidden sin or something God was punishing me for. There had to be a spiritual explanation for what I was facing. However, through my Christian counselors and medication, I came to a place of freedom and release knowing that this depression was not my fault. The chemical imbalance in my brain was out of my control. After years of counseling, medication, and continually seeking the heart of the Father, I found my healing. I have not been on medication for years, and God continues to show His endless love to me. For anyone else that has a similar story to mine, you've been walking around with this burden of depression, not letting anyone know because there is some sort of shame attached to it. Let me read 1 John 3, 19 through 20. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. It is so liberating to read that God already knows the inner workings of your heart and soul. He has placed no condemnation on you, but instead tells us to speak truth and be reassured of his love for you. He desires for your heart and soul to be at rest in his holy presence with no shame and guilt. We know that there are many different reasons someone could be dealing with depression. Like we spoke earlier, it could be a chemical imbalance in your brain. It could come from difficult circumstances outside of your control, such as a pandemic or a loss of some kind. Or it could be from a spiritual darkness that we have yet to seek God's forgiveness and freedom from. In all of these instances, there is one piece of advice that is the same. Continue to seek God's heart for you. In Psalm 88, there are several times when the psalmist reflects only on the affliction and suffering that he is facing. Depression of any kind distorts our perception of the world, our relationships, and our view of ourselves. When dealing with depression, we must be intentional and conscious to seek God and have others in our corner that are continually pointing us back to the Father. Of course, we should not reject the good gifts that God has given us through counseling and medication, but seeking God in the midst of it helps us to walk this journey out with eternal hope and everlasting strength. With your small group, you will dive deeper into Psalm 88 and talking on the emotion of depression. You will discuss how important it is to keep God as our priority, that hope and forgiveness are vital authentic community breaks the back of loneliness and gaining an internal perspective is crucial. I pray that as you unpack this heavy emotion, you would feel the reassurance of the Lord to speak truth without shame or judgment because the Lord is near to the brokenhearted. (laughs) 